Hi, Bothered Brigade. Here's what's bothering me today. Again, I'm still trying to work on like a big-ish thing about all the recent terrible news and how the West is giving up on COVID and blah, blah, blah. Hopefully going to have that done and ready in time for tomorrow or the day after. However, what I'm noticing is today, again, because, you know, the deluge of terrible information just kind of keeps coming with regards to the CDC's recommendations and testing and privatization of healthcare up here in Canada. And uh, our province is now considering adopting the terrible five-day CDC guidelines. And it's just, again, right, we're going to talk about this and so much more at a very near point in the future. But... Amidst all of this terribleness, right, where people can tell, people know, right, the vast majority of people in Canada, America, Australia, Britain, New Zealand, wherever, we all know that what's going on right now is terrible and unacceptable and should not be happening, and yet it is. And, you know, as much as there's a part of me that says, when do we fucking ride over this already? When do we wake up and say enough is enough and we actually occupy the halls of power, like the insurrectionists attempted to, to do except instead of for shitty terrible coup attempt reasons for legitimate public health and safety and for the betterment of society reasons and unfortunately you know that's not what i want to actually talk about because that again is a whole different subject for a different time what i want to talk about is some of the shit that i saw interspersed with all this crap one of the most infuriating things i saw amidst like tweet after tweet after goddamn tweet about all the terribleness that is happening with regards to testing tracing people recognize that you know these lowered uh quarantine times are not good and just other abuses and terrible late stage capitalist dystopian nonsense amidst all of that you want to know what i also saw in nearly equal measure Lots of people playing fucking political games about, oh yeah, well you see, I was right, like, oh, why don't you just say it, Shank, we were right about, you know, Jimmy, Jimmy Dore was right, or so-and-so was right, this is why Destiny is right, Vosh had it right, it's like, I need the people on the left, my fellow comrades, to wake the fuck up. This is not a game anymore. It hasn't actually been a game for a long ass time, but my patience with this kind of bullshit is running extremely thin. Instead of going around making tweets about whose community is right and who's bad or not a perfect fucking leftist, instead of that, could we not maybe engage in what we claim to care about, which is a mass mobilization of people to actually begin pushing back against these very real and dangerous and egregious actions against our health and safety and the just stability and infrastructure of our goddamn society. Why are you people playing petty political games online like it's a fucking NBA game rather than actually saying, you know what? Still don't necessarily like you and your community, but you got a lot of people who more or less agree with me on some very core concepts. Let's try and work to fucking gather on that aspect so we can push back against the capitalist dystopia that gets worse every fucking day. I touched on this in my AOC Met Gal address about how that was actually a genuine opportunity for the left to really address marginalized people and bring attention to something and show some real sol solidarity with um, proper comrades on the ground there. But instead, it was all about stupid, petty political games about AOC. And, you know, that is less than helpful, right? Now, again, I understand why this stuff happens because, again, we all live in this capitalist dystopia and, oh, if I'm a online content creator, I need to generate the engagement and the likes and the clicks. So in that sense, I need to go with the flow of what people are talking about or what's trending. The algorithm is my fucking god, right? And so... You know, I understand that, right? But this is one of those moments, one of those truly historic moments where we are seeing incredibly grotesque action after incredibly grotesque action, or rather inaction by our state, right? The people in power do less than nothing. And the people in big business, their donors, by the way, they are the ones doing and pushing all this terrible shit, which again, we're going to talk about real fucking soon. But right now, 
This is what's happening. And so instead of playing stupid, petty, political bullshit games, mobilize your communities. Again, I'm Canadian, so I don't necessarily know how things work. And unfortunately, basically, according to my analytics, most of this audience, you're women and you're basically millennials and Gen Z and also overwhelmingly American. So unfortunately, I don't know how your system works, but one of the things to do is to try and reach out either locally with your friends or in your community or like whatever community organization you are a part of, like hell, it could be a rowing club or something. I don't know what people do these days. In fact, I'm going to link uh, working stiff USA slash Abby for the people's channel down below because she does a bunch of great videos about what it means to get started, get organized, etc. And if you aren't subscribed to her, please go do that. I know she hasn't uploaded in basically a year. And so I hope she's doing okay. Uh, I miss her greatly, but she has this whole online resource now that everyone can take something from and learn something about. So please go check it out. Talk to people form networks about, you know, who has testing, who has good information, what are the offices and where are places where we can go and safely either protest or begin to make life hell for regional politicians or representatives. Like what's their phone number? How do we send emails, glitter bombs or whatever, right? Like this is the time for action. Lord knows we need it because unfortunately it just gets worse, right? It's all gotten worse and worse with month after month due to inaction from Biden, Trudeau, Bojo the Clown over in Britain, and big business are saying, oh, come on, we got to get back to work. And so what if, you know, we lose several thousand souls along the way? It's herd immunity or any other stupid, terrible, basic eugenic bullshit that they try and push out. Now is the time to fight back and organize and put petty political differences aside for literally the sake of health and safety and the stability of society. Yeah, sure. I'm not a fan of a great many leftists at the same time. I really don't give a shit about that right now, given the situation of the apocalypse outside my goddamn window. So please, bigger leftists and people who support bigger leftists, instead of playing stupid, weird online games for like clout or magic internet political points, please put aside the fighting for now and fight back and put that energy against the assholes who are making the situation worse every goddamn day. This is our moment and we're fucking losing it. And that is what's bothering me today.